guys, it's Jane here from Laser Gaming, and in this video I want to talk about confirmed weapons in Battlefield 5. Sort of the weapons that we know are going to be in the game, and I'm also going to speculate about a bunch more weapons that could be coming to the game. We actually have about 21 confirmed guns in the game from both trailers and from the gameplay we saw at EA Play. So I'll be going through those weapons, and then I'll get into sort of the extra weapons as well. If you guys are new here, don't subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe. I'll be doing a Battlefield 5 giveaway before the beta, and then if you want to know more about my monthly giveaway, I just have some information down below in the description for that. But just subscribe and stay tuned for all this stuff. We're going to have a ton of more information about Battlefield 5 coming out, but let's just get right into the video. So, the first one is the STG-44. We obviously saw this in the EA Play gameplay. This is probably the majority of the gameplay you saw. A lot of people were using it because it is a... Um, like mechanic gun for the assault class and so you also get that RPG along with it and um, or not RPG specifically but a sort of like rocket like uh, gun and it's just sort of a staple in the um, in World War II. It's one of the most commonly used weapons, one of the most commonly shown weapons and it's just a really awesome gun and it looks to be pretty overpowered in Battlefield 5. We'll see if that changes before the beta. But uh, for these confirmed guns, I'm just going to sort of go down the list. I won't speak too much about them, but then because they're already in the games, we already know about them. But then for the speculated weapons, I'll sort of just give a little bit of information about them and why I think they'll most likely be in the game. So the next is the Car 98 k This is the sniper rifle. Um, that was in the game. Uh, there was only one sniper rifle. It did about 75 damage. Not too much. It wasn't a one hit kill up close. Um, but again, that sweet spot mechanics removed, so it just did about 75 damage and dropped off. Next is the MP40. We saw this German submachine gun for the medic class. Very slow fire rate. Uh, next is the M1 carbine. We actually saw this on the cover art and multiple places in the first trailer. Uh, the Lewis gun we know will be in the game because. Um, in the Battlefield 5, sort of road to Battlefield 5, um, that you see in Battlefield 1, you unlock a Lewis skin that will be available in Battlefield 5. Next is the Thompson SMG. Uh, we saw this in the first trailer, and it sort of came in the DLC for Battlefield 1 that included the pre-order weapons of Battlefield 5. Um, next is the Bren LMG. Uh, this is the LMG that was available to play at EA Play, so we saw quite a bit of gameplay for this one. And it looked pretty good. It looks like a very accurate weapon, 30 round magazine uh, that's inserted from the top of the gun, and it looked pretty cool. Next is the Lee Enfield. Um, we saw this just in the first trailer um, when the soldier dove back onto their back, uh, the girl, um, and she sort of like jumped out the window and then as crawling back was shooting the gun. That was the Lee Enfield. Uh, next is the MG42. Saw a player pick this up in the first trailer once we got to like the first person perspective. See the Sten Mark II SMG. You could see some other players in the trailer holding this. The P08 pistol we saw. Uh, the Irma machine pistol is was available in the uh, EA play build of the game as an SMG. Um, it's sort of the SMG that had like the sight on it that sort of looked like a, not a red dot sight but sort of like a dotted sight. Um, next we know the M1911 is going to be in the game. Uh, the Walther 38 pistol. Uh, the M1 Garand we saw in some cover art and we also saw it um, in the game as well during some of the trailers. The Gewehr 43 was available for the medic class, um, so we saw that one. The SIG KE7 LMG. I personally didn't see this, but I saw some people online saying that this was in one of the trailers and it was confirmed. And then lastly, we got four melee weapons. We got the Cricket Bat, the Katana, the Axe, and the Combat Knife. So that was a pretty quick run through that, a little bit out of breath, talking really fast right there, but we got through all those guns. So those are the 21 confirmed guns that will likely be in the game. Um, not likely, they will be in the game, we've seen them in the game. Uh, now we're going to get into the ones that will likely be in the game. So this is the M1903 sni Springfield Sniper Rifle. It's an American sniper rifle. It was in Battlefield 1 and it was used just as much in World War 2, uh, so we will likely see this in Battlefield 5 as well. Um, we have the bar. Um, Brownie automatic rifle. This is one of the standard infantry rifles in World War II for America and it was also in Battlefield 1 and it was a part of the Battlefield 5 pre-order DLC. So if we didn't see the bar in Battlefield 5, I would be extremely surprised. It's one of my favorite guns in World War 1 and World War 2 shooters so I'm really hyped for it to be in the game and it likely will. The MP18, it was in BF1, it was one of the best SMGs in Battlefield 1 in my opinion, especially after the time to kill buff and it was still used in World War II in some capacity, so I feel that we could likely see this in the game. 
The M1919 Browning is a USA medium machine gun used by America in World War II. 500,000 built, so it was used relatively commonly. And yeah, it's just a M1919 Browning. Um, I'm showing images on screen of a lot of these weapons, so this one will likely be used in the game as well. We have the M2 Browning. Now this one's a little bit different. It's a heavy machine gun from the United States. Shot 50 caliber bullets, so that seems like a little overpowered to give to your average infantry soldier. So it will either be modified to not shoot the 50 caliber rounds, um, or it will be a battle pickup or on a turret. Because if you just give soldiers 50 caliber bullets, especially in a machine gun, one, it would be super hard for a regular soldier to carry, and two, it's just a little bit overpowered, especially if they keep the stats relatively similar to how it was in the in real life. Next is the Model 10A shotgun. It was in Battlefield 1 and it was still used in World War II, so we will likely see that. We have the SVT-40. It was a semi-automatic Soviet rifle. Um, it had a 10-round box magazine and it was um, also the SVT-38 was used, a variant of it. And we saw the SVT in many um, World War II games. We saw it in COD World War II and we've seen it in some previous Battlefield games as well, like Battlefield 1942, I believe. Um, so yes, we will likely see this in World War II as well. Next is the PPSH. It has an extremely fast fire rate of 902,000 rounds per minute. They will likely need to nerf this and make it a bit slower in this game because it was a very overpowered weapon, um, especially since automatic weapons are a lot easier to use in video games than they were in real life. Um, it had a 35 round box magazine and a much larger drum magazine um, that was used in some cases. It was a Soviet S SMG and it was very common during the war, especially one of the more common automatic weapons and we know that developers often like to sort of blow up how often automatic weapons were used, so we will likely see it. The Grease Gun, or M3 SMG, was an American SMG used by the United States. It was a very slow rate of fire SMG, um, and yeah, it's sort of a very commonly known weapon for World War II, the Grease Gun, and I'm sure we will see it in the game. Now we also saw the Mosin Nagant infantry rifle. Um, this Mosin Nagant was heavily used during World War II, and we also saw it as part of the pre-order DLC in Battlefield 1. If you pre-order Battlefield 5, you get this weapon, and that likely means it will be in Battlefield 5 in some sense. Um, and one of the other weapons just like this that we got um, that isn't confirmed yet is the Fedorov Aftermat. Um, this weapon was a fully automatic, somewhat assault rifle-like weapon. And there's a chance that we will see this in Battlefield 5 as well. Lastly of the likely ones is the Ruby Rolls 1918. We saw this in the They Shall Not Pass DLC in Battlefield 1. It was a French gun used in World War 1 and World War 2 and it had a medium fire rate. Now we're going to move into these sort of possible weapons, weapons that were used in World War II, but maybe not as common or sort of not really staples, or maybe they're part of the Pacific Front, and we might not necessarily see them at launch in the game, but they may come a bit later. So the first one is the M1941 Johnson LMG. Um, so just like to mention, this is in COD World War II. Um, it has a very fast fire rate and a small magazine. It's sort of a side-loaded side boxed magazine that's curved. It has 20 rounds in the magazine. It's American-made. And it is a light machine gun, um, so you run out of your ammo very fast, um, but it is a pretty good weapon. Next is the DV-28 Soviet LMG, uh, sort of 47 round box magazine on top. This weapon is very common and it's sort of seen a lot in World War II imagery. It looks somewhat similar to the Lewis gun, but it is a Soviet weapon. Next is the Breda Modelo 30. This was developed by Italy and used by the Axis forces during the war. It had a 20 round magazine and it was a light machine gun. Next to the FG-42, it's short for an extremely long name. Um, it's a German weapon. It had a 10 to 20 round box magazine and a fast fire rate of 750 to 900 rounds per minute. Um, 900 rounds per minute and only 20 rounds. You'll burn through that extremely quick, um, but it, does, it would kill very fast in this game. Type 100 SMG is a Japanese weapon. In 1942, when it was first developed, it fired at 450 rounds per minute but they made further iterations of it that fired at 800 rounds per minute um, in 1944. It had a 335 meters per second muzzle velocity, which is rather slow, but not too bad if you're using it at close quarters. It had a 30 round curved box magazine. And lastly, we're gonna talk about this one, the double barrel shotgun, just because you kinda have to. Double barrel shotgun's a classic and it's always fun to see. We saw it in Battlefield 1, as these sort of tanker and pilot classes, uh, but I hope they bring it as sort of a main weapon, or as that, again, it's just sort of fun to use a double barrel shotgun in these games. Uh, it's just sort of silly and a little more laid back, but it was used in World War II in some senses. 
Now that's about it for this video guys. I know this is a longer one. I usually don't produce videos that long. This one took me a while to make. I probably won't post over the next few days as I'm on a trip. I just sort of wanted to make this long video. Get all these potential weapons out to you guys so you guys can see it. Um, this video is usually about three times longer than my normal videos. My normal videos are about four minutes. So hopefully it'll make up for a couple days of posting since I'm currently traveling. But again, boys, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything in the Battlefield universe and to stay up to date on everything Battlefield 5. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.